Have you ever spent hours just searching for the best mods on Mod Hub? Well, let me help you out. I've got the top 17 console mods here that I use on every single game save. How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and like I said before, I've got the top 17 mods that I put on every single gameplay. Now I may not use them in all of my content, but I, I definitely, definitely add them because you never know where your gameplay is going to go. You might need them. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the very, very first one. Boom. Case. I had to start with Case. I'm a Case guy. And what this is, this is actually the Case IH Puma CVX with tracks. Now I know we don't have tracks on this one. This one's actually got the nice Michelins on it, but I wanted to show a nice 240 right here, the AFS. As we go around looking at all the different mods here, we're going to see a lot of different versions. We're going to see different wheels, different colors, all kinds of different combinations that you can do here on this tractor. So let's go ahead and jump in this thing right here and um, get headed on over to the first place that we want to take a look at one of the mods that I use, like I said, on every single gameplay here. So I almost forgot one really, really awesome thing about this tractor right here is it's also 15 slots. It's amazing. I mean, you get a 300 horsepower tractor for 15 slots on console. So the next mod here that I won't always put on every single gameplay, everything, is called Disable Vehicle Camera Collision. It's by Giants, and let's see exactly what it does. So if you watch right here, and I start moving forward, watch what happens to the camera. Did you see that? Yeah, so watch this again. If I back up and I'm right next to this taco stand, the camera will actually go in front of it. Well, that's it's kind of annoying if you're around a bunch of trees or other things like that. And here we have the exact same area, but I've actually got disabled vehicle camera collision installed now. So watch what happens whenever we go next to this taco stand right here. As you can see, the camera stays the same distance, but we actually pass through it. So it's a great, great mod. That way your camera's not jumping all around. So where are we going to next? Well, we're going to go to a farm. I'm going to start setting up this farm a little bit. And I need some stuff to help me get it going. So you started into the map and you want to buy a farm, but you don't have enough money. So what do you do? Well, there's a multiplayer way to get money. Or you can download this mod right here. It's called the Government Subsidy Sign. And it's really, really awesome because every hour you get a certain amount of money depending on what economic setting you have. And it's going to go pretty fast. You can put a bunch of them down and then just delete them all out of the way. But what if you put too much money down? Well, then you come over here and you can use these. So what exactly do we have here? Well, these are farm tax signs. And at midnight, they take away how much money they say on them. So if you have the first one over here on the left, it's going to take away $100 at midnight. Or 1000 or 10000 or 100000 So it's really, really awesome. If you use the government subsidy sign and say you got $3 million, but you only end up using you know, 247000 or 2470000 of it, well, you can come in here and take away a little bit of money. I highly recommend these mods if you are going to be building up a farm, um, not really from scratch, but kind of like getting it set up the way that you like it, and then you start playing the game. I highly, highly recommend these. You could also give yourself, you know, $100,000 every hour if you wanted to, or create a storyline where you get hit every single day with a $1,000 penalty, you know, or a tax or something. So it's um, really, really good potential here on these mods. I use them every single time I start a new map because I bring in you know different pieces of equipment or I buy farms that aren't always exactly the same as the way that the map was originally designed um, just for my storylines for creating my content. So I've got a farm picked out but I don't have a house and we all know that the base game house is really really expensive and I want this house right here to be my sleep trigger all right so what do you do well you're gonna come over here into farmhouses and you can see right here sleep trigger it's an awesome awesome mod what it allows you to do is just put a sleep point anywhere on the map uh, there's also farmhouse doormat. I use both of these kind of interchangeably um, depending on what I want. Now, like if this place right here, I can't really get a doormat up there because I can't get it right here. And a doormat wouldn't necessarily look good down here. So I just use this invisible sleep trigger. But if I'm at a house that I can get a doormat right there, then I do. So both of those, I consider it one mod. We're not going to count them as two. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely use those if you don't have a place to sleep on the map. Like this map right here, American Life Farming, doesn't have a sleep trigger, but there's so many houses here. You could pick any of these houses to be your sleep point. 
The next mod that I put on every single gameplay is actually going to be precision farming. And that's what this right here comes into play. This Isaria Scout, absolutely phenomenal tool. It takes soil samples for you. So if we look here at the map, you can see that now I've got this green color and that's actually gonna be sandy loam soil. So if I were to sample every single field, it would look something like this. And that is your soil layout here on precision farming. Now this map doesn't have any loamy sand. It was designed that way, but most maps are gonna have all four different soil types. And what does it allow you to do? Well, it allows you to be able to get an increased yield and use a little bit less products. I've got almost hundred videos covering precision farming. Highly recommend going and checking out that playlist if you're interested in it. It adds another element of realism to the game. And once again, you can see another version here of the Puma with tracks absolutely phenomenal it's row crop this will not damage your crops at all um, this is a 200 cvx and uh, in orange really really beautiful color here i absolutely love this tractor this is probably my favorite setup on this tractor i'll have to admit it now this next mod may not look like it's much because we're using it with a base game harvester it looks just like a regular header and that's because it is but it's got a little bit of a tweak to it so this mod is called Tool Height Control for Harvesters. And let me go ahead and show you what, what, it, what it does. So if we turn on our harvester here, you can see that whenever I hit cruise and turn it on, I'm going six miles an hour. All right, that's as fast as I can go. So let's turn this off and go ahead and go over to the other harvester here. So here we are, let's go ahead and get it turned on. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna turn it on and now I'm gonna hit cruise and watch what happens. I'm already at 13, 14, 16, 20 miles an hour. I'm gonna be able to go as fast as this harvester will go. 26 miles an hour, I can harvest. It's really, really awesome. Um, the only thing is if you're using a, or if you're harvesting a crop where you're putting straw down, be careful here on the ends. You're gonna to need to uh, stop, back up, otherwise you're gonna get a huge pile of straw at the end of it. Um, there's lots of videos out here covering this. I absolutely recommend this if you like to harvest but you don't necessarily like to take a lot of time doing it or if you're trying to set up a video and you need to harvest a field very very quickly this is definitely a mod for you here we have another version of this case ih this is the 240 and it's in a new holland blue and white rims you can paint this one just about any color under the rainbow it is phenomenal it's got duels in the back Duels in the front, and the reasons because we're going to put it to work today. Because this is the next mod right here. This is the Lizard Subsoiler 6 meter. So what exactly does this do? Well, it's going to do plowing for you. So let's go ahead and back up to it here really quickly. Boom, there we go. Now, we're going to unfold it. And the reason I like this one so much is because it's really, really nice as a starting plow. Because it doesn't take a whole lot of horsepower. As you can see right here, it's only gonna take 180 horsepower. Really, really awesome. So what are we gonna do? Well, let's go ahead and drop this thing down to the ground. And we're gonna start plowing. And you're gonna go ahead and make fields. And I really like it because you can be very, very precise with this plow when you're making fields. So if I wanted to come up here and get pretty close and then turn a corner really good, there we go, just like that. Now, is this the only plow that I like to use? No, it's not. Let me take you over here to another one that I really, really like to use too. All right, so this is the John Deere 2410. I absolutely love, love this mod too because it's super wide. It's twice as wide as the other one, 12 meters, exactly. So we're gonna go ahead and unfold it. Then we're gonna go ahead and lower it down out here in the field. Really, really nice and wide, getting a really, really big swath taken care of. Now, is this one able to make fields? Yeah, it is. You just, you gotta kind of practice with it a little bit more because if you turn too sharply, you can get really, really close to stuff and then it's gonna be impossible to come back and harvest. So that's why I really like to use the six meter one whenever I'm trying to make edges of fields and things like that. And then I'll use this one actually out in the field. And the horsepower requirement on this one is only 200 horsepower. So not bad at all, not bad. Now, another really interesting thing that I'd like to do with this first one over here, let me show you this. Since we dropped that off backwards, all right? And the pointy part was supposed to be facing forward of the tractor. 
Well, I can hook up to it this way, okay, and unfold it, and watch what's going to happen when I get out here in the field. Now, this is completely backwards of the way that it's intended, but if I drop this down, it still does it, and it doesn't require as much horsepower. So if you've got a lower horsepower tractor, but you still want to plow, definitely, definitely pick this one up. It's relatively cheap, and it will do the job for you, no problem. Now, what if you want to go fast? Well, this is the next mod right here. Let's go ahead and get out and take a look at it. I've showed this one off in other videos, but I wanted to show it off again here today. I use this every single game save. So it's called the Front Attacher. And um, let's show you exactly what it does. So you're going to back up to it. Right here. You're going to go over to an implement that is not a three-point. All right, this does not work with three-point implements. So I'm going to be back up right here. Okay, let's zoom in. So what I need to do is actually lower this down. And the way I do that is I hold my L1, and I'm going to lower this down till it's pretty close to the bottom. All right, now I'm going to back back up. And boom, right there. You see how this actually attached to it? The cotton's in the way. Let me see if I can get it a little bit better for you guys. There. So you see it's attached to the blue piece and not the tractor itself. So if I hold my L1 again, I can raise this and lower it as I like. So if I'm down here all the way at the bottom, all right, and I start harvesting or I start plowing this thing, watch how fast I'm going to be able to go. Almost 20 miles an hour. You guys saw before how fast we were going. Yeah, with this front attacher, you're able to increase the speed of your implements. And once again, fast farm. It's another version of fast farming that is, now you have to be careful, otherwise you'll do that. But I use this front attacher all the time, every single gameplay. I may not show it off, but I use it in the background for sure. Now this next mod is really, really cool because it stores just about everything that you're going to need for your farm, whether it's food or it's seeds, it's mineral, whatever it is. You can pretty much get it out of here, liquids included. Um, and let me show you how it works. So you're going to take a truck here and you're going to pull underneath of it. And this is a bulk trailer, which means it's going to accept a ton of different products. So if we select here, you can see... There is so many different things. You can even get your crops. If you need, you know, potatoes for a contract, well, there you go. You can just come over here, collect them, boom, deliver. You can get total mix ration if you need to fill cows, chaff if you want to make silage, anything like that. Really, really awesome here. So once again, I highly recommend this multi-filling station. So what do you do if you have a whole bunch of straw or silage laying around and you need to get it into a trailer pretty quickly and you don't want to use a bucket? Well, you could use one of these. It's called a milling machine. Look at that thing. So once again, another version here of the awesome Case IH Puma with tracks. This is a 185 version. Don't need a whole lot of horsepower on this one. This is only 140 horsepower requirement right here on this milling machine. So the first thing you're going to need to do is put the pipe out right here, just like this. Now what I go ahead and do is I lower it down right there and now I'm actually going to turn it on and you can see it's just going to start turning those gnarly looking wheels there on the front and the pipe is actually pointed towards this trailer. So watch what happens whenever I go forward against the straw. Watch where it goes. It's going to go inside that trailer. Now I know the animation looks kind of funny because it's going through the side. But if you've got a bunch of straw that you need to get off the ground really, really quickly, or like I said, silage, if you're dealing a bunch of silage in a bunker and you don't have an easy way to pick it up, this is that easy way. I mean, so quick right here. So that right there just got you. Let's see. I think it's a little bit over 10,000. 11,280 liters of straw. Really, really awesome. Um, you can use this for other grains too. If you've got other... Um, style silos that you put all the product on the ground you can use this as well um, even potatoes if you're looking for a cedar slash planter this this is the one for you now this great plains yp 4025a is actually classified as a planter but it'll seed for you also it's 12 meters wide only takes 250 horsepower but 
it direct drills, which means you don't need to cultivate or you don't need to plow, and it applies fertilizer. So you're doing three jobs all at once with this. Absolutely, every single game save, I use this one. So let's go ahead and lower this down. We're going to turn our tractor on. We're gonna turn this on, and as you can see, it's already, boom, right off the bat. Putting wheat and fertilizer, super easy. This is another version here of the case. Got to paint it up as a, uh, a kind of a reverse John Deere. Got some nice yellow, some nice green. We got singles in the front, duels in the back, 240 on the engine. Great, great tractor. I'm going to show this one off a couple more times here. We got a couple more variations that I want to show you guys. This is the multi silo shop. And it may not look like much, but it is a phenomenal, phenomenal mod. So what does it do? Well, it's going to have seeds and fertilizers for you. And lime also. You can get all of those items out of here. So let me go ahead and show you. We've got a front tank right here on another case. And uh, we're going to go and see what we can put in here. So what I need to do is go ahead and open this up. And you'll see whenever we get underneath of it. Right here. Boom. we got fertilizer. you got seeds. And that's it on this one. But I've got another tractor over here too. Let's see what it'll go in it. So here we have another version of the case with tracks, and it's got some Nokian tires on it. 185 version. I mean, who doesn't like a brown tractor, right? So we're gonna jump in here, and this is gonna show us that we can get lime. So you're gonna be able to get seeds, fertilizer, and lime all out of here. Boom, there we go. Lime and fertilizer, and that's what this thing takes. So, really, really awesome silo here. Once again, it's called the Multi Silo Shop. So we're actually gonna be highlighting this one in one of our other videos, taking a look at lime when using precision farming. So definitely go check that one out if you're really interested in this. The prices on this one, oh, they're really, really good. Trust me. Another really great option if you need some pallets of stuff. So if you wanna play a little bit more real realistic and don't wanna to have to always go to a silo like that and you're tired of the prices of base game, well, have I got a mod for you. Right here, the Lizard Pallet Pack. And as you can see, they're really, really good prices and you can get them double stacked. And it's not just like minerals and food and, you know, lime and things like that. You can also get tanks. So if you come in here, you can see you've got all these different tanks. And if you want to get different brands on your tank, you can. So whatever you're using, there you go. You can get all the different brands that you want. And you can get chicken food. You can get cow food, um, premium pigs. You can get horses, all kinds of stuff. You can even get bales on this thing. And the really awesome thing, you can do a double stack like you see right here and you can even get it wrapped. So clear wrapping or the black wrapping. I really like this one because you can really see what's in it a lot better. So to move these around, you can use a traditional method or you can use like any type of uh, the CSZ pack or anything like that. I don't always use a CSZ pack. Um, I typically just use pallet forks, put it up on a trailer and then I'm good to go. But you definitely can pick these up with that pack if you're using that mod too. Now the next mod that I want to show off here has a special place in my heart. And um, that's why I keep it inside the garage. It's a TLX 2020 made by 82 Studios. This is a phenomenal color. My daughter loves this color combination right here. That's why it's got a special place in my heart. She picked out this color combo. Every farm has to have a truck and it's so versatile. So let me go ahead, jump in here and I'll show you what I mean. Um, we're gonna drive this thing, <laughs> do a little bit of off-roading. Um, but this one right here is a flatbed version that you can get. And we're going to take you over here and show you some other attachments that you can get to um, make this truck really, really your own for whatever you would like to do on your farm. And there's two different versions of it. There's a lower horsepower and then there's a really, really high, high horsepower version. So if we get out here, you can see you've got all kinds of tipper beds. You've got an open bed. You've got a tank. You've got a log one. You've got one for mowing. You've got, you know, um, the bale it right here. This one here will actually put bales up on top here for you. Three bales you can haul on top of that. You've got trailered versions also. All those attachments that we just saw, there's a trailered version of it right here. Now, this one, this is the, this is the really, really high, high horsepower one. And it's even got like a normal bed right here. And there's so many different versions of this bed. You can get a toolbox, you can get running board or, uh, rails you can get a cover for it um different headache racks i mean so many different versions of this 
Um, you can change up the mirrors, you can change the colors, you can add lights on top. You can see this one here doesn't have any lights on top, but this one over here, where'd it go? Right here, you got three different types of lights. You got the the lights up on top, like the hazard lights. You got some little running lights right here. You've got these lights here in the front. I mean, it's phenomenal, phenomenal. 82 Squared Studios did an amazing job with this truck. And uh, to make it modular like this, mm, you got to have it. You got to have it. So the last mod that I want to show off is a mod that's really going to help you get things done a lot faster and using some different equipment that you wouldn't have normally thought about. Um, no, it's not the, the fertilizer spreader right here. It's this one. This is called the front lifter. Now, this is a absolutely crazy, crazy mod. You can attach this to any vehicle that has a hitch. All right, so you can put it underneath harvesters. You can put it um, on the fronts of trucks. You can put it on the backs of trucks. What we're going to do here today, I'm going to hook this up to the TLX 2020, and we're going to use the TLX to spread some fertilizer here on this field. So let's go do it. All right, now this is not the most realistic thing that you can do in farm sim, but it is possible. And it really, really opens up the possibilities of you know the crazy things that you can do i mean just use your imagination where all could you put this thing at and what could you hook to it um you know that's a huge tank sitting back there it's going to make the front end a little bit squirrely on this but it's going to work absolutely perfect so we're going to go ahead and switch right here we're going to turn this thing on and as you can see we're spreading lime or fertilizer on this field with a tlx 2020. so now if you've just got a farm truck you can just use it you don't have to buy a tractor you can do just about anything you need to on a farm with this TLX 2020 also. So I wanted to show it off again with this Pete other attachment here. I use it all the time. I put it on the front of semis to be able to car carry extra loads to the fields, things like that that I need. So it's a great, great mod. So those are the 17 mods that I put on every single game safe. I may not use them in my videos or other content that I make, but every single one of those mods is on every single game safe that I do. But that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all my other top videos that we have here or anything with precision farming, we do placeable factories. I've even got some live streams that we do a couple times a week. So if you're into that type of stuff and want to be kept up to date, definitely, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you do, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.